Mm. Hi, my name is uh, Franco Sanchez Per. Uh, I'm a lecturer in the University of Alicante, and we are going to do this practice. This is going to be a complementary video for practice one, where we are going to transcribe uh, uh, or to create a primary document by using word dictate. The idea is that if we uh, do or we perform an in-depth interview to a person or a focus group to a work group of people, and we record this uh, on video or in audio, this, uh, this information, this interaction, we can use, for example, word dictate to transcribe, to uh, put these words into a document, this spoken words to a written document, document to this our the, the, the later analysis with Atlas T in our case. So let's going to see how this is done. The first thing we do is to open Word, a Word document. And in any Word document, this is in Spanish, but it's going to be the same in English. You are going to have an, the, a microphone here that it says dictate. If we, you click in dictate in English, it's going to happen the, the following thing. Hi, my name is Franco Sancho. As you see, in this case, there are problems. Why? Because uh, I haven't, in, the, my computer is in Spanish. So we click, if we click in dictate, if your computer is in Spanish, so, sorry, if your computer is in Spanish and you want to change the, the language, you have to go to stop the microphone, to go the, into this wheel, that is the configuration, and to change spoken language, idioma hablado, and go to English. If you do so, the recognizement of the things that I say or the videos is going to be better. So let's go to see. Hi, my name is Franco Sancho. I'm going to be your lecturer in qualitative marketing research. As you see, this is what we are going to do. We are going to uh, play the video or the audio that we have uh, recorded during the interview or the focus group, and the computer is going to recognize the words and write them down. It's not going to be perfect. It's going to write everything continuous. So we have to check the things. We have to re review the video, rewatch the video, and check that everything is OK. And uh, we also need to uh, divide the things because everything is going to be continuous. So we have to divide the questions of the interviewer and the answers of the interviewee. This is the thing if we use a voice, a live voice, but we can use a video. I'm going to put again, because the video that I'm going to use is in Spanish, so I'm going to put the video in Spanish, okay? The, the recognize, recognizement. And what I'm going to do, for example, this is an example, I can use, a mobile phone, for example, to broadcast to, to put the video that I'm going to use. For example, I have the video here, so I'm going to play it, and the computer is going to recognize what I'm saying, what the video is saying, and trans transfer this or transcript this into words. So let's go into see. I'm going to click dictate and click play in the video in the mobile phone. Mi nombre es Franco Sánchez Pérez, soy profesor del Departamento de Marketing de la Universidad de Cato y vengo a presentaros el uh, canal de YouTube titulado de las As you see, there is an example. Uh, in this example, the computer have recognized the voice of the video and transcribed the information. There are things that are not okay, so you have to correct. But this is the idea. So this is a lot the, the transcription because it's going to reduce the time a lot of, of this activity. Of course, you have to check and organize. I'm going to show you to finish this presentation, how would be this, this transcription is in Spanish, but it's very similar to the thing you have to do. So this is a transcription of, of a manager of a hotel, of a rural hotel. So in this case, we have used the word dictate to do the first job and afterwards we have divided. This is the question, P is the pregunta in Spanish, the question, and R, R is the answer of the manager. So here we have the question in one color or in bold, and the answer, and so on. 
So at the end of the day, you need to have a document like this with the questions and the answers separate. Uh, if we have a focus group, it's a little bit different because we have a question, the, the interviewer or the moderator is going to make the question and there are going to be more than one answer. Interviewer number, interviewee number one, interviewee number two, number three, number four. So this is the idea. This is the document. The better the, this document is organized, the easier is going to be our task when we uh, upload this document to Atlas TI to do the analysis. So thank you very much for your, for your time. I hope you have enjoyed and you have learned things from this presentation. And we are going to, we are going to continue in following classes um, with more videos, explanatory videos.